Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you, and I was just checking today, and today marks a year since I decided to become a YouTuber. So I kind of thought it would be fun to go through my experience, talk about where I started and ended. I think some of you might find this interesting if you're just interested in like what it's like for a YouTuber in general. And then let's face it, some of you might be really interested in starting your own YouTube channel, which I highly encourage if it's something you would like to do. It's been wonderful for me. And I'm just going to go through and explain the story behind it and uh, where I am now and then what I, where I hope to go in the future, basically. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. And if you like this kind of idea, give me a like. So anyways, uh, so it's around December, I, I was getting frustrated because I was playing a lot of gigs and I was writing music. Uh, and I just always found that it was so hard to get out there. And, and then I just kind of had this thought in my head, which was, you know, trying to make it writing music or, or trying to do these things, you need to have a following, something that I just really didn't have. And so I had this idea to start uploading things on YouTube. And I have to admit, I need to get back into maybe uploading more music on YouTube. I think I've written a lot of music in general that you can see in my links below. Uh, I, I need to come out with some newer stuff. I need to do a little bit more covers. But that's kind of how I started. It was just a way to kind of have my own way to reach other people. And through that process, I made a decision that I was going to try to upload two to three videos every week. And this is my suggestion for you guys. I mentioned the other video, like the marathon method or whatever. Um, it's just make a commitment to yourself to try something uh, sometimes. I know we only live so much in our life, but it's really good to say not I'm going to try this for a week, but like a year, really. That's why I said I'm going to do this for a year. And my goal was, or my thought was, after a year doing this, if it's not working for me, if it's not going to work, then I'm not going to do it. But no matter how bad my YouTube is, how bad my views are, or anything else, I'm just going to learn from this experience. And that's pretty much it. And then through that process, I, I invested in a microphone. I definitely admit that I need to maybe get a better camera and then get some lighting. That's in the near future. But December 9th was the video that I uploaded that was why I chose to move from Sweden to the US. I'm sure most of you that actually subscribed to me maybe saw that video first. Man, was the lighting bad. There's a lot of ums in there, but it was genuine. And honestly, guys, it was like my third video I ever did on YouTube. I did. I never expected it to be my most popular video. And that's something to understand as well for you guys. The thing is as well, it didn't even hit a thousand views until probably about three to four months after I uploaded it. And I don't know how the YouTube analytics completely works, but once it reached a certain point with the number of likes and views, it just started to grow and grow and grow. Uh, to the point, though, I think that I'm up to like 36,000 views on just this one video alone. Um, and then through there, once I saw that one was starting to get popular, I just said, okay, maybe I should talk about Sweden a little bit more. And then I got my first comment on a video, someone asking a question just about moving to Sweden. And I just started to kind of answer some of these questions. And I started to then have a dialogue with you guys. And through that process, although I want to continue to do music because I think that's important. I want you to understand that. It's like, but I just felt like I should just kind of roll with this and talk to people about a little bit about Sweden, about my perspective. There really wasn't any place for that. Uh, I mean, I know there's another YouTuber that talks about Sweden. There's other YouTubers out there that does it, but maybe not from the way that that I've done it. So there, there was this niche there in a sense. And so I just started kind of running and rolling with it. I'm looking off the screen here because I do want to th see um, my most popular video here. Yeah. So if I go to that one, it's it's 35,000 views. And then I have multiple videos over 15, 12,000, 10,000 talking about Sweden or just talking about things in general that I didn't know that was popular. Um, and that wouldn't happen if I just didn't upload consistently. And then I hopefully through that process, I'm sure you can, I can, I encourage you to go back and look at some of my old videos. You'll see that I got a lot more comfortable kind of talking in front of a camera like this and, and speaking. It's done wonders for that as far as uh, just being able to do it more. Uh, so that's what I started to do. And I think I hit 100 subscribers. When I started, I had 35 subscribers and I had 1,500 views on YouTube. Uh, one year later, I have about 750, I have 755 subscribers and I've hit 150,000 views, which again, 
Not amazing. I'm not trying. This is not about tooting my own horn. But I'm personally proud and happy where it came through, thinking my life. Because there were times where I've been very happy, times I've been sad, times I've been absolutely exhausted, going through good times and bad, and, and, and finding a way to upload it and, and try to be entertaining and learn from this. And I have absolutely loved it. And like I said, it probably took me four months to hit that first 100 subscribers. And then... Again, while I was over the summer, it just started to go up and up. And I want to say it peaked in the summer and it slowed down a little bit and then it starts to grow again. And I just think that's YouTube in general. Uh, but that's pretty much what happened. So for anyone that would want to try a new channel, my, my advice to you would be just to upload consistently and not worry so much what your channel is going to be about at first. Um, especially if you're going to do more of this kind of vlogging thing. Just kind of roll with it. Give yourself a couple of months and come back. Then you kind of, over time, just learn how to tag videos, um, how to edit videos, and everything else. I think so many people start and then they quit. I think a lot of it really is as cheesy as it sounds. Just keep keep going at something. But if it makes sense, you're going to get better as you go. Like I like I love to run, but I'm good at running because I run a lot. You know, I didn't need to pay anybody for a running lesson. I had another video about that a while ago. So I'm very happy with that and i have to tell you in this journey of me being in sweden living in sweden taking this big leap to come here it's almost like i had to go through all these years of experience of just being a part of sweden before i could even sit in front of a camera and do this i wish i would have done this earlier because in all honesty if i had if i could upload every single day for a year i guarantee you i would be over a thousand subscribers by now probably closer to 1500 because youtube definitely rewards you um the more you upload so that's something else that I've kind of understood as well. And again, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I mean, I am not perfect. I don't have this like view of myself like up here over anything. It's not like that. Uh, I, I'm, I feel like a very humble person. Um, but I'm proud, if that makes sense. I'm proud that I've done this. And I'm proud that I've done this in a way that isn't like... Uh, I don't go like, hey, sub, sub for sub, or I don't spam anybody. Um... And that would be advice as well. Like, don't spam other people. I'm excited. I mean, I've gotten a chance to do a collab. That was really cool. I got a, an unboxing. That was awesome. So I'm excited for the future there. I'm really excited to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. I was hoping to do it in the year. Uh, uh, it looks like it's going to take a little bit longer. And that's okay. You know, really, now my goal is to just go another year and see where it is. I got my first paycheck on YouTube, which I'll tell you isn't much. <laughs> but, you know... Joining YouTube as well, like my goal would be maybe someday to have this be a full-time job, but my plan is, like I did this first year, is all right, just go, let's try to do this for three years now. Um, so that's one goal. I have a goal also at trying to maybe write a book at some point. I might wait till I have a lot more subscribers, and I'm not really the best kind of writer, so I'll have to see how I would do something like that. But I have a couple ideas about writing a story about kind of my experience and trying to put it on paper, um, and hopefully just coming out without uh, more music and things like that. So this whole process has been fun. If you're a subscriber and you've been to my channel and you sit and you click and you watch me talk and then you interact with me, I love that. Thank you for that. Thanks for interacting with me. Thanks for writing comments. Thanks for feedback. I've gotten really good feedback. Uh, and even the constructive criticism is really, really great. I've learned a lot. I mean, of course, like all YouTubers, like I've had people that have been, you know, written mean comments and things like that. And that's something that's interesting as well. It's like, you know, I think a lot of times on the Internet when people are communicating with one another, even a small YouTuber, a big YouTuber, like I've watched YouTube videos of people that have like 24 subscribers and it's like maybe there's 2000 views. And there will be some of the meanest comments I've ever seen about people and stuff like that. I just feel like sometimes, and this is just a side thing, it's like people forget that people are human beings on the other side. Now, I'm, I'm learning to get thick skin, and it, I don't really get, uh, I, I'm not saying I get it so bad, but it's just, it is an interesting thing as well that, that, that you have to learn to deal with. But I have to say that the overwhel overwhelming comments and things I get from people is is very positive. And I think the thing that makes me the most excited is that I get to have a positive impact, I hope, for the most part, on other people. Now, do I have the answers? No. Am I perfect? 
Heck no, not at all. I mean, I have made plenty of mistakes, and I definitely don't feel that way. However, have I been able to have a positive impact on others? Maybe made someone's day a little bit better in some way, shape, or form? And honestly, guys, you if you're planning on moving to Sweden, this is just for some of the handful that watch me and plan on moving to Sweden. I'm going to be honest here. like You could watch all the videos in the world with me, and... It's really not going to prepare you for the journey. You're, you're going to be fine if you've never watched any of these videos. But if my videos in some way help you feel a little bit more comfortable, then I'm happy with that as someone that's learned to deal with anxiety in my life. Um, and for you guys that are Swedish, if, if, if just clicking on one of my videos has been entertaining for you and you've enjoyed it, that's awesome. I'm, I'm happy that I've done that. But... I think the important thing I want to point out to you guys is, like, you might have learned stuff from me, but, like, I have learned so much from you, if that makes sense. Like, I've gotten ideas from you, you guys do the feedback. This is what makes YouTube so awesome. This is why YouTube is such an amazing forum, really, and is that you have this interaction with me, a YouTube creator, and you guys, the audience, and I just think that's what makes it really great uh it's like we get to cut out the middleman there's nobody else there's nobody telling me that you have to do a youtube video today or vice versa i can speak my mind i can talk to you guys here and i only get better at youtube the more work i put into it that's like the other thing i love about youtube is like i'm my own boss here you know like I, I have the power and the control of what I want to do, and then you guys can help influence me by our conversations. I think it's great. But I will say this. I think it's harder. I don't know how it was as a YouTube before, but I feel like it's definitely harder as a smaller creator to grow as fast as you used to be able to in the past. I could be wrong. I mean, I know there's plenty of massive YouTubers out there, but I just feel that way due to the fact that how the YouTube subscriber system notification kind of works. It's based on watch time. And people probably don't get a subscriber. You're not going to always get... If you watch most of my videos, you're always going to get recommended. But if you maybe click on them every once in a while, YouTube might not recommend it to you unless the video is like super popular in a sense. So, and I'm just... This is just for some of you. If you want to go ahead and get a notification every time I make a video, that's only if you find what I say interesting. Uh, there should be that link below where you can go ahead and do that. So... I probably talked a lot. I probably rambled a lot, but that's why you're here, and that's why you, you watch me. So that part's cool. But again, for all of you guys that have been on this journey with me, I really appreciate it. I hope you could take something away from this video. The only thing I hope you can take away from is just like to not give up with things so easily. And when you try new things, give yourself a lot more time than maybe you normally would to complete something. Tell yourself, you know what, I'm, I might wait. I might go ahead here and, and try this for six months or a year and then really assess where I am. Because I just think things that are big uh, take time, you know? And the best part about YouTube, at least, is it doesn't cost you any money. Or working out, maybe, or running, or, or maybe reading, like I said, reading a little bit more, or trying to... A lot of these things don't cost a lot of money to try to be able to do, so it might be worth it, so... All right, guys, if you're new to the channel and you liked what I had to say, then you can go ahead and hit that, click that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.